In 1887, Jesse L. Clark was hired as the very first music teacher in the Wichita Public Schools. For the next 38 years, she helped build a quality music program throughout district schools, which continues to this day. But while the music program remained strong, by the 21st century, music facilities were looking pretty tired. When the 2000 bond issue was passed, the bond plan included new music rooms for several elementary schools. It also included plans for a brand new music suite at North High School, combining vocal and instrumental rooms with storage space, office space, and practice rooms, perfect for today's music students. The new music suite at North opened in 2005 and became the inspiration for more suites as the district plan for the 2008 bond issue. We took a look at the template of this with the beautiful facilities, the offices, the additional practice spaces, and decided, yes, this is the kind of facility that we want in all of our high schools. The 2008 bond issue provided new music suite additions at East, Heights, South, and West. Northwest received a new instrumental music room, allowing the former instrumental space to be renovated for choir. And of course, the new buildings built for Southeast and Northeast both included music suites as well, following the same guidelines as the suites that came before them. The improvements that the district has been making along the way, they have been letting those positives and any negative that they may have encountered has guided their decision for the next project. So by the time we did get to Wichita Southeast, there was a lot of intelligence that went into the guiding of that. Our high schools are all now equipped with beautiful music suites. This includes a state-of-the-art instrumental and vocal space, as well as incredible practice facilities for them. There are a variety of practice rooms in each suite. Also, each director has an office that also includes their music library. Middle schools and elementary schools also saw significant upgrades to music facilities through both the 2000 and 2008 bond issues. New music rooms were built at numerous elementary schools across Wichita. At Mayberry Middle School, the existing music rooms were expanded and renovated, while Marshall received a new vocal music room and renovated instrumental room. Music suites were an integral part of the designs of new buildings such as Stuckey and Krista McAuliffe, and new music suite additions similar to those at high schools were built at Brooks, Allison, and Hamilton. Across grade levels, the new and renovated music rooms have been a huge improvement for students and teachers. Before the bond issue, most of our music rooms adhered to the original structure of the building, whether that room was used when the building was built in the 20s or the 70s. Well, our old room was the original room, uh, but it was about half the size of the one we now have. Anytime I go in there, it just amazes me. It's like, how did we all fit in here? This was a big improvement from what we used to have. That room seated about 70 or so comfortably. This room seats about 150. Technology such as we use today was not in the classroom. It was sort of daisy chained into the room. But it didn't have any room for the storage of instruments and uniform. We had practice rooms, but they ended up being storage rooms for the band and instrumental. Instrument storage was similar to what we have now, but it was in a really tiny room that the kids had to go into. It was very cramped and it was hard to keep an eye on the kids because they had to go in and out of this room. It was a band room, but it was not ideal. The new room is a blessing to everybody. The storage for the uniforms, the storage for the music. Everything's very open. I can see the kids wherever they're at. It's never an issue in the room. In between the choir and the band room now, we have professional uh, practice rooms that the students use all the time. So if I send all the boys in to do their sight reading in the practice room, the sopranos could run through their song with a digital accompaniment on the piano in the main choir room, and the altos could come in here in my office with me, and we could run a second song in here. So every 10 minutes we rotate, and they get a lot done that way. Behind me, you see all the storage. We had very little storage in the old, old room, so we have uh, space right here for all of our choir robes and formal outfits that the students check out every year. The band room all has lockers for all of their instruments, which was never done before. It's an acoustically treated room, so things sound like they should in here. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's what a band room should be. Following 17 years of construction, our music students now enjoy quality facilities at schools across the district. From our newest elementary music rooms to the music suites at all of our high schools, our students have great spaces in which to make music. I remember moving from the choir room, the old choir room, to this room, and then when they got in the room, it was just like 
okay, this is going to be kind of weird, but the land of Oz. It was just like, okay, we were, we were in an okay room. We didn't know any different. They didn't know any different. But when they walked into this space, they were like, oh, gosh, this is incredible. Kind of made them more proud of, of being in choir and being in band, that this district and, um, has, puts value in the fine arts, and that, that means a lot to our students. It's awesome. <laughs> and having been in a room before this that, that was not as great, I think it says a lot that our district supports the arts, for sure. To be something that was voted on by taxpayers is even better. It's made a difference from elementary to middle to high school, giving students the appropriate classroom setting that they need. It's critical in terms of learning, and it also speaks of the importance of the student in 259 itself. And as a teacher, I'm grateful to work in 259.